Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia from Alicia V Creative and in today's tutorial we are doing a highly requested tutorial and that is on the snow globe tumblers. So I know that there are plenty of other YouTube videos that you can watch on YouTube but I thought that I'd put together a tutorial on how I do my snow globe tumblers. So of course everything that I use and talk about in today's tutorial will be listed and linked in the description box below. Feel free to check that description box out for discount codes as well as all links to my social media and of course my Facebook group Alicia B Creative Community. Lastly, if you haven't and if you love today's tutorial, feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into today's snow globe tumbler tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have two Starbucks tumblers. These are 24 ounce tumblers directly from Starbucks. I get asked all the time where I purchase my cups and I've never found any vendor that has been cheaper than just going right to the Starbucks counter and purchasing them right from the shop. So I'm gonna take off the straw and lid and then remove the stickers off the bottom. And now I'm going to take my Black & Decker drill and a quarter inch drill bit to drill into the bottom of my cup. So I'm going to be making two holes in the bottom and they are going to be just on either side of that bottom lid. When you are going to drill in the bottom, if you don't feel comfortable using a drill, I certainly encourage you to grab your significant other, your husband, your brother, someone who can certainly help you. Um, it is really easy to use them, but I know not everybody is comfortable using power tools. Um, so certainly feel free to ask for assistance if you should need it. So what I'm doing here is now that I have cut my hole in the bottom, and you're going to want to make sure that you're super careful that you don't pierce the second wall of the tumbler. So going slow and taking your time is really going to be in your favor. But once you get that hole all the way through that bottom section, you are then just going to use some sort of tool or shake out the extra pieces of plastic that may have gotten into between the two walls of the tumbler. So I'm just going to drill that second hole in this cup and then I'll drill two holes in the other and we will move to the next step of the process. All right, now that I have holes in both of the bottoms of these tumblers, I'm going to be adding glitter to one of them. So one of the tumblers is going to be a traditional snow globe glitter tumbler, and the other one I wanted to try the lava lamp style. So starting with this, the glittered snow globe, first I'm going to be using two glitters. I'm using Bruja and Trick or Treat, both for my Asia Creations. I will link her shop in the description box. So I'm just pouring a pretty good bit of glitter into medicine cups. Um, you don't have to use a certain amount of glitter. Um, for me, I always say that there's never too much glitter, but essentially what I like to do is fill up my medicine cup about three quarters of the way for each glitter. And it definitely is preferred that you use chunkier glitters over finer glitters. The finer glitters tend to clump up when you're trying to do a snow globe tumbler, whereas the chunkier glitters really do float much better in the solution that you put in your tumbler. So I'm just pouring a little bit onto that top and then very gently tapping the glitter down into the tumbler to get all of the glitter from the medicine cup into the tumbler. So this is a little bit of a process, probably takes about 10 to 15 minutes or so to kind of get all that glitter in there, depending on how many shades and different cuts of glitter you're going to be using. I'm only using the two for the sake of this cup today. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process and then I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm going to be putting in my snow globe tumbler to make that glitter float. Okay, so I'm going to switch gears a little bit and we're going to go to the lava lamp cup first. So what I'm putting in this cup is I'm putting about a quarter cup, I would say, of vegetable glycerin. So you can buy pure vegetable glycerin from Amazon, which is typically where I purchase it from. But this bottle I actually purchased from Walmart and you can purchase it from Walmart in the medication or vitamin section of the store. So what I'm adding to my glycerin is I'm adding... A bit of glow powder that I've had. My husband purchased this for me um, for Christmas and I haven't had a chance to use it and so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do so. 
So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, though, this cup did not come out exactly how I wanted it to. So it should have been more of a lava lamp look. But what I didn't do was I forgot to add glitter and a little bit more colorant to make the glow kind of stand out. So because the glow powder is so translucent, it just wasn't able to kind of be picked up, so to speak, when you flip the cup upside down so you can see it a little bit but certainly in pictures it's not caught it's not certainly prominent enough if that makes sense so now that my solution is mixed up i am using this party syringe that you can buy from walmart you can also use a pipette a funnel something that's just going to help you get this glycerin solution into the two, in between the two walls of the tumbler so i like this because i can control the flow because um, i don't like sitting here forever trying to fill these up but what i'm using is just this party syringe to kind of get that solution into my syringe and then get it into the tumbler so for the lava lamp tumbler you want kind kind of one third of your cup to be filled with your glycerin solution and then the rest of the tumbler so the two thirds left of the tumbler to be filled with baby oil so I am going to show you the baby oil portion as well so I'm going to go ahead and cut right to that section now but essentially just take your time with this it is very thick so it takes a little bit longer than how I'll show you how I do the traditional glitter snow globe tumblers um, just because it's thick to kind of work with so just take your time so now I'm going in with these holographic bats that I got from Glitter Makes It. I will link all the glitters that I'm using and I'm just adding them to the glycerin solution. So in hindsight, this really didn't work in my favor only because they were very difficult to get into the hole. I ended up having to use my drill bit to make the hole a little bit wider on this side. Um, and then once I got the whole thing together, the bats really just ended up sticking to the sides of the cup on the inside. So I definitely recommend to use kind of the bats or like the different shapes in a traditional glitter snow globe tumbler and not this lava lamp solution. It just didn't work out essentially how I had expected it to. But nonetheless, I'm keeping this part in the video and kind of the the process of how I did this cup because it's important to know that not every idea that you have is going to come out exactly the way you want it. So I'm going to show you kind of how I'm going to twist this a little bit to kind of still make it a cute cup in the end. So let's go into now adding the baby oil to the rest of this tumbler. So I just have traditional baby oil that I picked up literally from the grocery store. There's no brand that you need specifically, just traditional baby oil that you can find in any baby section of the grocery store or department store. So using another party syringe, I'm then just going to fill up the rest of this tumbler with the baby oil. So the way that this is a lava lamp is just like how oil and water don't mix. So the reason why you don't use water is because water will mix with glycerin. I know it's kind of like what, right? Oil and water not supposed to mix, but because of the viscosity of the glycerin to the baby oil, they don't mix and kind of the baby oil creates kind of small bubbles. So that kind of is what gives you that lava lamp look. So there's a little science from behind how this how this kind of tumbler works. So I'm just going to fill up this cup all the way to the top. And so I will have a slight air bubble. And as I get to the top of the cup, I'm just kind of tilting it to one side to try and get as much baby oil to the very top of the cup as possible. I do know that I'm going to have a few bubbles in there and that's perfectly fine. And that's actually going to help the glycerin and baby oil move throughout the tumbler, but just something to certainly keep in mind that it's okay to have a little bit of bubbles, but you do want to try and fill it up as high to the top as possible. So now because the top is all nice and sticky, I'm just going to rub that off with some rubbing alcohol and clean that and get that ready for the next step. So now we are back at the traditional glitter snow globe tumbler. So I've just put some glycerin into that medicine cup there or not that medicine cup that plastic cup that I have so you don't see it but I have two lines marked on this cup so with my solution I do a 50 50 of 
the vegetable glycerin with water. So once I put those two together, I'm just going to mix thoroughly until it's no longer cloudy. It should be clear. And then I'm going to go in and I'll add some colorant. So this is the first time I've actually done colorant in my snow globe tumblers. Typically anyone who's ordered a snow globe tumbler for me wants just specific glitters. But because I'm making this like a witchy brew type tumbler, I thought it would be so cute if I made the water or solution in my tumbler to be a purple solution that kind of kind of matches the glitter that's in the tumbler already. So I'm adding just a couple drops of indigo and then I'm going to go in with amethyst. Again, I'll link everything in the description box below. I mix those two together and I realize it's not exactly the color that I want. So now I'm going to go back in with a third color and that color is wild plum. So I add quite a few drops of wild plum into my solution and then I get the perfect purple that I need that matches the glitter that's inside of my cup. So I'm going to get this thoroughly mixed and then we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with the glycerin and baby oil and use that party syringe to get all of this solution into the cup until it's filled to the top. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a closer look as to putting the solution into the cup. So this party syringe is like the perfect size for putting the solution into the cup because it fits directly into that hole in space there. And then I don't have to worry about getting the solution all over the top of my cup. So certainly find what works best for you. I've seen pipettes, I've seen funnels, anything that works. I just love using this. Once I've gotten a pretty good amount of solution in there, you're going to see me, I'm tapping the cup. And the reason why I'm tapping the cup is because all my glitter has settled to the bottom from when we first put all that glitter in there. And so I know that there's some trapped air in there. So I'm taking this opportunity now before the cup is entirely full to really bang at the bottom of that cup and release that air at the bottom so that I am truly getting as much solution into this cup as possible. So this is something you're going to want to make sure you do. Otherwise, when you go to seal your bottom and then flip your cup upside down, you'll have a huge gap of air if you miss this step. So certainly a very important step to make sure that you're able to get as much solution in that cup as possible. Okay, now that both of the cups have been filled to the top, I'm now going to seal my bottom. So I'm using UV resin here and that is how I'm going to seal the holes on the bottom. Now I've seen a lot of different people use a lot of different things. I just prefer to use UV resin because it's quick and it's easy and I'm going to fill the bottom anyway with regular epoxy. So this is just kind of to plug up those holes. So I'm taking my time and I'm just going around that section of the tumbler just kind of around the hole if you will and then right across the bottom. So it creates like a very small dome over that hole. Um, and I've never had a problem with this. I know some people choose to use like um, a two-part epoxy, which I have certainly used before, or they choose to use like a small piece of film or tape and then put resin over that. I just find the UV resin to be super quick and easy and simple, and it doesn't take me a lot of time. So once I have the UV resin on top of those holes, I'm then going to let it cure for three minutes. So three presses of my UV light button and then it is completely sealed on the bottom. So once I have that piece done, I'm gonna flip it over and obviously test it. In the event that it's not sealed, I'll just go back and apply another thin layer of resin. And you're gonna just wanna make sure that when you're applying your UV resin on the tumbler that it's not above where the very flat part of the tumbler will be so that when it rests flat on your, tum on your table, it's not going to be wobbly because of that resin there. Okay, so I'm mixing equal parts of amazing quick coat here. This is Illumilite's fast setting epoxy. And so I'm going to be filling the kind of portion of the bottom over the UV resin. So I'm putting a dark as night, bright as day into one medicine cup that each have about 10 mLs of mixed epoxy. And so in the other cup, I have the trick or treat. Um, so I'm just going to add this glitter mixed resin to the bottom. There's a little bit of like a dip in the bottom of the Starbucks cups. So that is what I'm going to fill um, with this glittered epoxy. And that's so that the bottom is completely flat and I can ensure that I don't have to worry about the seal from the snow globe tumbler coming undone um, because it will be now sealed with that two part regular epoxy on the bottom. So I'm just going to put the epoxy on the bottom and make sure it's flat so you don't want to dome this whatsoever. You just kind of want to make sure you fill it and that you 
use either your craft stick or popsicle stick to just cover up the holes and make sure that there isn't any of that UV resin sticking out. So I'm then going to go in with my torch and I'm just going to torch my bottom real quick just a quick pass and that is just to pop any bubbles that I may have on that bottom part of epoxy I'm going to let this sit for four to five hours until it's fully hard and cured and then I'll go ahead and move into decals Okay, so once the bottom's hard, I'm now able to add decals. So I have some cute Starbucks decals that I got from Etsy, kind of like that zombie mermaid look. So for the purple tumbler, this is going to be a witch's brew themed tumbler. So I have this cute decal that I got from a shop on Etsy um, that I did with a green offset that I'm going to be applying to the tumbler. And so this is witch themed. So I have a cauldron that's going to go under the witch's brew decal. And then I have some cute little witch hats that are going to go all around the tumbler. So again, both of these are my personal cups. So it is just something that I thought I would make myself and be able to show you guys kind of how I create these when I get orders for them. So I'm going to kind of speed through the decal section because you guys have seen me apply decals before. I didn't do any design space work only because it was just very simple with just duplicating items to get as many as I needed for the cup. So nothing really intricate that I needed to do in Cricut design space for this tumbler. So for my failed snow globe tumbler, this one I decided to do bat themed since I already had bats in the solution of the tumbler. So I'm just putting another kind of reverse image decal of the witch's brew uh, mermaid on the front. And then I'm just going to apply bats all the way around. So again, I'm not going to show very much of this section. I'm actually going to speed to how I'm going to kind of make this tumbler a fail to something that is pretty exciting and pretty cool. Okay, so let's make this failed lava lamp tumbler a super cute tumbler after all. So since I didn't do a great job with the lava lamp section, I figured I would do a super cute glitter drip with this cup. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing an epoxy drip, I'm actually going to take green fabric paint. I got this neon green fabric paint right from the craft store. I think I purchased mine from Michael's, but you can get it from any craft store. And I'm going to do a drip with this cup. So with this paint, I'm just going all the way around the rim and really being generous with how much I'm putting on the rim so that I can get my drip to really drip down. And now I'm just banging on the table, so I apologize for the shakiness of the camera. So I am just tapping it against the table to get that fabric paint to drip down the cup. So this is a great alternative to not using epoxy method drips like I showed in my last tutorial. It's a quick and easy way to be able to get a drip look without having to mix and wait and add thickener and you know, not screw up, right? That one opportunity to do that drip. So I love doing the fabric the fabric paint drips just because they are so cute and so cool and why not then add glitter then on this as well. So I'm going to just take my coffee filter and just clean up a little bit of the drips that went a little bit too far on to my decal. I got a little bit carried away with the tapping on the table and now I'm going to take groovy green and I'm going to add that to the entire drip on the cup. So although I have done fabric paint drips before. I cannot take credit for adding the glitter. This is straight from Myra from Myra Makes It. She showed this in a tutorial in her Patreon group and I cannot believe I had never thought of something like this. I've done fabric drips before but never would have thought of added adding glitter right on top while it's still wet. So now that my cup is completely glittered, it is a gorgeous green and nice and sparkly, just how I like it. And I'm just going to take a dry brush and brush off any of the extra glitter. So you do want to be careful because this is wet and will remain wet for quite a few hours. I let this sit overnight and I don't touch it. So once it is completely dry, I am going to epoxy over this all together. Now, normally I wouldn't epoxy my Starbucks cups, but because I had this drip, I want to make sure that it doesn't peel off. So I will do one layer of regular epoxy. So here's the reveal of both of the cups.
If you loved today's video, please give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys again next week.